So we're starting to see it more and more. A phone comes out and it has two rear-facing cameras, then another one comes out and has three, and then another one with four. What's going on here? Why are we throwing more and more cameras on the back of our phones? Wasn't one working just fine? One was working just fine, but you know, phone manufacturers are starting to take the two heads are better than one approach when it comes to uh, phone cameras. If you have a nice camera like a DSLR, you know that there's a specific lens to use to get the most out of a specific shot. Fisheye lenses are great for wide angle shots, standard prime lenses are good for normal photography, or telephoto lenses are good for zooming up nice and close to a subject that might be far, far away. All these lenses contain different components that allow them to excel at the task they were designed for. But just because something's great at one thing doesn't make it great for everything. For example, you wouldn't shoot close-ups with a 600mm telephoto lens. The same is true for phones. For the longest time, phones just had average cameras that took average shots. With each generation, manufacturers just pushed more and more megapixels to give them higher and higher resolutions. But there comes a point where adding more and more megapixels just really isn't enough to set one phone camera apart from another. One thing that can be done is HDR. If you've ever used HDR on your phone, you know an image can look a heck of a lot better when HDR is enabled versus just the standard photo. What HDR does is it actually takes three different images at different levels of exposure and then stitches them all together to create an image that highlights the best aspects of each photo. This can work great if the subject doesn't move, but when you add in motion, you start to get weird artifacts that make your photos look fuzzy. This is one thing that having multiple cameras on a single device can eliminate. Each camera will take images at the same time, but each camera will have different lenses or sensors. On their own, these images might be meh. But the software on the phone can take the strengths of all these images and combine them into a single photo that's sharper, brighter, clearer than what each camera could accomplish on their own. Something that multi-camera phones are used for is to help improve a cell phone's zoom capabilities. In a zoom lens, there's a mechanical assembly that changes the focal length of the light entering the lens. For example, a 100mm to 400mm lens is referred to as a 4x zoom. But cell phones are slim and you can't fit a large mechanical zoom assembly inside of a cell phone's skinny body. Normally phones would just use a digital zoom which just basically blows up your image and that's why your zoomed in images on your phones tend to lose resolution. But with multiple lenses, one can be set at, say, a further zoom, say 2x. So one would be a standard camera and the other one would be a 2x zoom camera. This way, when you zoom in on that photo you take, you don't lose a lot of the resolution you would if you used just a digital zoom. Another trick multi-camera phones employ is using different sensor types to get a much sharper image. For example, some camera setups will use one camera to take color photos and another one to take monochrome photos. The benefit of a monochrome image is that the monochrome image sensor doesn't use a color filter array. This allows more photons to reach the sensor, making the sensor more sensitive to light. Being more sensitive to light means that monochrome image sensors have a better low light performance. Additionally, not having a CFA helps generate a sharper image with a higher effective resolution. Using these two sensors together on a phone, a phone's image processing software will combine the best of each photo to vastly improve the end product. One phone that uses all three of these techniques is the Huawei P20 Pro. This phone has three rear-facing cameras, one set to 3x zoom for long-distance shots, one is a standard 20 megapixel color camera, and the other is a monochrome camera to improve image sharpness. So the next time you see a phone commercial boasting that their new phone has four rear-facing cameras, you won't think it's just a marketing scheme. You can appreciate what they're actually going for here, and hopefully when you pick out your next phone, you'll better understand what sensor and lenses are best for you. Hey, before you go, though, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video if you liked it, and uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.